Good evening. Welcome to the Yorktown Central School District Board of Education meeting for May 21st, 2018. Can I have a motion to go into executive session for the matters pertaining to the employment history of a particular individual and contractual negotiations under the Taylor Law? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. All right. Can I have a motion to go back into public session? So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Good evening. Welcome to the Yorktown Central School District Board of Education meeting for May 21st, 2018. Can we please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence for our armed forces and those in our community who have lost loved ones, especially the father of Alan Heald, the mother-in-law of Norma Alvisano, and the brother of Karen Profita. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America, America. And to the republic for which it stands, one nation, Okay. Thank you. As we start our end of the year um, season, this is tenure night. But before we do tenure night, there's just one thing I'd like to do really quickly. I guess as most of you know, last Tuesday was a bit of a mess trying to do a budget vote and a uh, proposition vote with no electricity. And I want to publicly thank our district clerk, Yvette Siegel. She went above and beyond. We had custodians with flashlights. We had a vet running everything. So, we would just like to thank you, Yvette, for all of your hard work. <laughs> Thank you, right. And now you have the floor, Ron. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just going to address the audience yep. from the podium. Mm -hmm. Carbone, Mr. Magnani, Ms. Bose, Mr. Basaccia, Ms. Reynolds, and Ms. Roll. Good evening to my colleagues, both from district office and from each of our schools. It's great to see you all here supporting your colleagues. I especially would like to welcome the tenure candidates and their families and friends to our tenure celebration this evening. Tenure is derived from the Latin word tenere, which means to hold. As I attempt to equate that translation to the literal meaning of the honor that is about to be bestowed upon you this evening, I'm reminded of the enormous responsibilities of tenure and the importance of holding something. I think of the delicate care that one takes in holding a newborn baby or a fragile, priceless antique with irreplaceable value. In fact, tenure in a school district is of even a greater responsibility. We're holding the well-being of over 3,400 children in our grasp, and this is the greatest responsibility that we can ever be afforded. While this evening marks the end of a very rigorous probationary period, that included formal observations by district and school building administrators, informal observations of your work with students, and annual professional performance reviews. I would like to frame tenure differently. Tenure is the beginning of another chapter of your career. You have become familiar with the expectations of the district, and the district has become familiar with your teaching and your character. I leave you with some very important themes to take away from this evening and how I, review, how I view tenure. First. Tenure marks a point that we have moved past this introductory stage and that our expectations are now even higher than they were during your probationary period. I expect you to continue to put children first. That's a non-negotiable. I also expect that you will take risks by incorporating new instructional practices that will better your students and colleagues. I expect that you will find your voice as an upstander. I expect that you will continue to serve as a source of innovation and creativity for those around you and I expect that people will be able to look to you as a moral compass. Second, you didn't get to this point alone. You're here mainly because of the people you are, but also because of the wonderful people in your life, some sitting next to you and others not. For all of the family members who are here accompanying a candidate, I ask that you please rise to be acknowledged. The next leg of your journey will be successful only if you continue to rely on those around you. 
Collaboration is the number one skill that is repeatedly cited as most important in the 21st century. Continue to work collaboratively with those around you. Remember, the strength of the wolf is in the pack, and the strength of the husker is in each other. Finally, always be grounded in what's best for children. When the best interests of children guide your decision making, you can never make a bad choice or take a wrong turn. Our goal should be simple, to make a positive impact on every child with whom we come in contact. While this goal is more easily said than done, there are small things that we can do to reap huge rewards. First, we can smile at a child as we pass them in the hallway. A smile, while seemingly minor, can transform the course of one's day. Never underestimate the power of a smile. Second, make every child feel like a champion, never an underdog. No child should ever feel like they are an underdog. In fact, you've likely heard of the historical story of David versus Goliath. A small, soft-spoken shepherd boy named David accepted the challenge to fight a fierce giant by the name of Goliath. You may actually know the outcome of the story, as it's often portrayed in history, and it's a point of reference when an underdog beats a favorite. But what you may not know about that story is David was no underdog. If you take a moment to study all of the facts of that story, you'll find that Goliath actually had no chance of beating David. Upon close examination, David was never the underdog and, in fact, could have beaten any fighter in battle. David was actually quite the gifted fighter, but we needed to look past the surface level of the facts. How does this affect your work here in Yorktown? Well, outside of the obvious connections, I ask that you take the time to study the facts of every student beyond the surface level facts so that you may find the true champion within each child. And every child is a champion. And every child also needs a champion in you to dig a little deeper. For the tenure candidates this evening, I've enclosed a copy of Malcolm Gladwell's David and Goliath for your professional libraries. It'll serve as a reminder that the underdog has the power to be a champion. At this point, I'd like to ask our Board of Education members and my district office colleagues to make their way to the entrance doors so that we can formally congratulate our tenure candidates this evening. I would also like to invite our district PTSA president, Mrs. Tomney, and her beautiful daughter, Violet, to come up to the front. The district PTSA has generously provided us with flowers for our honorees this evening to make tonight's festivities just a little bit more special. The first candidate to be recognized this evening, the first candidates, are from Mohansic School. And at this time, I will ask Principal Mrs. Berry to join me to congratulate the candidates. Thank you. I will share my first recommendation with the board. I am pleased to recommend Ms. Maureen Hines for tenure in the Yorktown Central School District. Ms. Hines is a first grade teacher at Mohansic School, and she's a consummate early childhood educator. With a Master of Science degree in Early Childhood Education, Ms. Hines demonstrates tremendous aptitude and ability to serve our youngest learners. In a recent visit to Ms. Hines' classroom, and I'm trying to find Mrs. Hines in the audience, okay. <laughs> You'll remember this. Um, what I saw in the classroom absolutely amazed me. Children were working on character traits, and they were making wonderful connections to what they had previously learned, and children selected their own books to read based on their interest level. And when you have 20 some odd students in the class, that's 20 some odd characters that you need to become familiar with so that you can have a conversation with children about. That stayed with me. And I remember coming back to my office after that observation with just an extra bounce in my step and just so impressed and so inspired that someone would allow what was best for children to overcome all of the work that went into preparing that lesson. And that pre preparation was certainly not lost on me. Now, to Mrs. Hines, that's not a big deal at all, uh, because it meant that her students would be more actively interested and engaged in their learning. It's my pleasure to recommend Ms. Maureen Hines for tenure in the Yorktown Central School District.
The next candidate that I will recommend for tenure this evening is Ms. Jennifer Lanzalotto. Ms. Lanzalotto is a speech and language teacher at Mohansic Elementary School. Ms. Lanzalotto provides support to approximately 40 students multiple times each week. With each interaction, she's warm, friendly, attentive, and respectful. Ms. Lanzalotto is a true champion of children. She works tirelessly to advocate for their best interests and supports their learning through creative and authentic lesson planning. In a recent visit to Ms. Lanzalotto's class, she was working with four different students, all at different levels of development. What I observed was nothing short of remarkable. It was the perfect coalescence of the art and science of teaching. Ms. Lanzalotto was simultaneously managing the diverse needs of her students while delivering an engaging and authentic lesson. And most importantly, students loved being in her class. It was fun for them. It was a game. And what was taking place from the instructional perspective was just so impressive and so heartwarming to see. It was another classroom that I left feeling so inspired and reminded why we do what we do each day. It's my pleasure to recommend Ms. Lanzalotto for tenure in the Yorktown Central School District. And Ms. Zammerling could not join us this evening, so I will continue. And at this time, I recommend Ms. Susan Bradbury for tenure as a certified teaching assistant. And many of these words came from Ms. Zammerling. She was sorry she couldn't be here this evening. Ms. Mrs. Brad Ms. Bradbury has primarily supported our 812 program at Brookside School. During this time, she's demonstrated herself to be a flexible, reliable, dependable professional who places the needs of her students at the front of her work. In the setting in which Ms. Bradbury works, the education plans are inherently individualized. And yet, Ms. Bradbury, Bradbury is keenly aware of the support required of each student. And she takes great pride in her work and meeting the needs of her students. It is my pleasure to recommend Ms. Susan Bradbury for tenure in the Yorktown Central School District. <laughs> At this time, I would like to welcome Mr. De Janeiro to the podium with me. I recommend Ms. Erin Fink for tenure as a school counselor in the Yorktown Central School District. Ms. Fink currently serves as a school guidance counselor in Yorktown High School. There have been so many things that have struck me about Ms. Fink throughout the course of this school year. First and foremost is her kind and empathetic approach to counseling. I sat in on a meeting that Ms. Fink had with a student, her parents, and I think you recall that meeting, uh, and the care and sensitivity of that conversation cannot easily be replicated. In fact, I don't know if it can be replicated. She worked so delicately with that child with an attentive ear and a kind heart. While most adults are eager to speak when in front of children, Ms. Fink was inclined to listen and she used the child's words to guide the rest of the conversation. In addition, Ms. Fink's presence at m the many guidance events is commendable. She makes it a priority to attend as many events as possible to support our students and to keep our parents informed about various topics. It's my pleasure to recommend Ms. Erin Fink for tenure in the Yorktown Central School District.
At this time, I'd like to ask Mrs. O'Shea to come stand with me at the podium. It is my pleasure to recommend Ms. Marie Horowitz for a tenure as principal in the Yorktown Central School District. Marie is truly a leader who leads with heart. She's so invested in her building, her faculty, so many of them are here to support her. And what Mrs. Horowitz does better than I certainly will ever be able to do, and then many, many leaders that I've come to know, is her ability to see the big picture and still maintain that stoic face and still maintain a positive attitude. <laughs> Mrs. Horowitz is able to keep track of so many moving parts and she doesn't do that with an iron fist. She does it with an open heart and with a listening and attentive ear. And I think we're also fortunate to have somebody like Mrs. Horowitz as part of our organization and part of our middle school. And I see your staff behind you just nodding along, saying yes, we, yes, we agree. I am so pleased to recommend Mrs. Horowitz for tenure as a principal in the Yorktown Central School District. I thank you all so much for I thank you all so much for joining in such a special night for your colleagues for our district. Tenure night's always such a wonderful night. It's not it's not the end of anything. It's a beginning. It's another chapter. The expectations are still as high as they've ever been. And I wish you all the very best. We have such a wonderful group who the board and it's not official yet. The board still has to take action on this. So I'm only recommending here so uh, we're going to put this with the board in just a few moments. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you all so much uh, for coming out tonight. I know it's not easy. It's a Monday night, and the weather's gorgeous out, and you're spending it here with your colleagues. That says a lot about the relationships that you've formed, and I'm so proud to be part of this district. So thank you all for coming out. And now it's the big moment. The board gets to There you go. Can I have a motion to approve tenure? for the following candidates, Aaron Fink, Marie Horowitz, Jennifer Lanzalato, Maureen Hines, and Susan Bradbury. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Congratulations. At this time, uh, we are going to take a very brief intermission to allow you to grab a cup of coffee and to exit. We still have a full meeting left, uh, and there's some snacks back there as well. Help yourselves. We do have a full meeting after this. All right, Ron, that was a lovely tenure night. Thank you so much. We wish our teachers and our staff members many years of great work in the district. We're up to public comment. Is there anybody wishing to speak? No, we are going to go to the superintendent's report. Great. So I am pleased to report that the budget was overwhelmingly approved by our voters. Thank you so much for your support of the school district. Mm -hmm. Proposition 1, the annual school, bo school board budget was approved 470 yes to 69 no. Proposition 2, use of the capital reserve funds was approved 468 yes and 77 no. And congratulations to Lisa Roll, Jackie Carbone, and Peter Bisaccia for their re-election to the board. Congratulations. Yeah. 
And we have so many wonderful events coming up in our school. Please check the district calendar. Everything is posted there. Uh, we're in concert season. We're in award season. We had the op honor of op honoring our uh, National Honor Society inductees. We honored our Yorktown High School scholars. Concert season, we have a couple this week, actually three this week, beginning tomorrow night. So if you're able to attend, we would certainly love to have you there. The children are making such wonderful music. They're working so hard in their classrooms. And if you have the opportunity to come out and enjoy the fruits of their labor, I encourage you to do so. You will not regret it. Also, the last week of school, uh, the calendar, there have been some inquiries with regard to dismissal times. We'll be sending out a letter at some point this week. I, I believe later on this week, we'll send something out to clarify the dismissal times of each of our schools. That's all I have. That's it? OK. We are up to board action items. We have the approval of minutes, a motion to approve the minutes of the April 30th and the May 7th meetings. So moved. Second. Discussion, Yvette, did you see that little note I left you? OK, so that's going to be corrected. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Treasurer's report, a motion to approve the treasurer's report for April 2018. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? A motion to accept the claims audit report for April 2018. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Um, we have the 2018-19 uh, board meeting calendar. So a motion to approve the board of education meeting calendar for 2018-19 school year. Second. Discussion. If you look, we put in, a, uh, just so you know, we put in a couple of board retreats, and there are some snow dates in there based upon this winter. <laughs> so hopefully we won't need them, but they are built into the calendar. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, I opposed? Um, we are up to personnel. Did, we do Did you skip the classroom, the classroom report? Yeah. I, Did I, I? I missed it. Yeah, extra classroom report. A motion to approve the extra classroom report for two th April 2018. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Sorry about that. Upon recommendation of the superintendent, a motion that the following be approved. We already did the tenure appointments, so we have the part-time appointments, the temporary appointments. We have a resignation of Danielle Sciano. Uh, we have classified personnel, which are uh, police officer monitors, and we have some additions to our substitute list. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I have a resolution. Be it resolved that the Board of Education does hereby approve the creation of the following positions. A one FTE maintenance four person for the buildings, a one FTE occupational therapy assist assistant. These positions were, are subject to New York State and Westchester County civil service guidelines. Second. Discussion, these are included in the budget, so there's no increase. This is part of our 18, okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Business office. We have a resolution to participate in the U.S. Community's Government Purchasing Alliance, whereas the Yorktown Central School District, pursuant to the authority granted in municipal, general municipal law section 10316, desires to participate in the U.S. Community's Purchasing Alliance and a bunch of other stuff. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Education, I'm not reading it, of the Yorktown Central School District authorizes the school district's participation in the U.S. Community's Government Purchasing Alliance and authors, authorizes the superintendent of schools or designate to register for the U.S. Community's program on behalf of the school district. So moved. Second. Discussion. Tom, we're going into a lot of these purchase agreements. What is this allowing you to do as a, a, an organization? This allows the school district to piggyback on the uh, cooperative bidding taking advantage of large-scale purchasing power. Um, this is the fourth cooperative we join, and um, it allows us access to technology uh, and uh, facilities, management equipment, things of that nature. So each one of these co-ops has like kind of a different specialty, so going into multiple allows you to, to get multiple items? A lot of items. times things we're looking for are on each cooperative, and we get to pick one against the other. Okay. Okay. Tom, is there a cost to join these things? Absolutely no cost. Okay. Thanks. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We have budget transfers. A motion to approve the following budget transfers listed below. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Health and welfare. A motion to approve the following contract for health and welfare services provided to resident pupils attending non-public schools in other school districts for the 16-17 school year. This is for New Rochelle. So moved. Discussion. I just want to reiterate a 16 17 school years because they got us the contract late. This is not our, our contract, it is their contract, yes. correct? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Oh, this is loop. 
Resolved that the Board of Education approve the contracts with the Hudson River uh, Sloop Clearwater pursuant to the terms in the attached contract, which has been reviewed and approved by the school district's attorney and authorizes the board president to execute said contracts. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We have a snow removal at French Hill. Um, resolved upon recommendation of the superintendent, the Board of Education of the Yorktown Central School District hereby accepts the proposed proposal submitted by Cavallo and Sons Corporation for snow removal services at the French Hill School for the period July 1st, 2018 through June 30th, 2019, and resolved that the President of the Board of Education is hereby authorized to execute an agreement with Cavallo and Sons Corp with annual renewals for up to five years at the discretion of the Board of Education. The contract and the RFP have been re reviewed by the district's attorney. So moved. Second. Discussion? Mm -hmm. Tom, is this just because our contract expired with our previous carrier, or were we looking for someone new? Well, we've, we've taken a fairly systematic approach to getting requests for proposals to the school district. This has less to do with the prior contractor that was going to take care of the Okay. Good. Thanks. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Neopost. A motion to approve the lease agreement and the addendum between the Yorktown Central School District and Neopost in the amount of $19,197.12, including maintenance, labor, and parts to be paid in equal payments over a 48-month period uh, to replace the, dis the current district mailing system in the central administration. The Board of Education authorizes and empowers the Board President to execute said lease agreement and addendum. The agreement and addendum have been reviewed by the district's attorney. So moved. Second. Discussion. <laughs> Sorry, Tom. Can you just, I tried to read this. What does this mean? This is a postage issue. Ah, OK. I got gotcha. you. OK, perfect. Thank you. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Manpower. Resolved on recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools that the Board of Education authorize the board, President of the Board to sign an, the agreement with Manpower Group U.S. to provide data analyst services from May 22, 2018 to July 30, 1, 2018, at a cost not to exceed $9,450. A copy of this contract shall be incorporated with, in the reference of the minutes of this meeting. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. I oppose French Hill lease agreements. A motion to approve the attached amendments to the following rental contracts for space at French Hill. We have Alteris, Energy Improvement, Home and Said Senior Care, Lori Kelleher Chiropractic, Northern Westchester School of Music, Oxygen Volleyball, Soaring Eagle PT, uh, YAC, Yorktown CMA, and the YYSC. All leases will renew at the start of each school year, which is July 31st. So moved. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, Management Advisory, a motion to approve the contract with Management Advisory Group Business Operations to provide preparation, submission, and collection for present and future services rendered to students with disabilities in the district at a rate of $6,000 plus reimbursement for all reasonable travel expenses, including mileage, costs, and lodging. If the district requests more than four visits per year, effective July 1st, 2018 through June 30th, 2019. Second. Um, discussion. We um, outsource this quite a while. It, it saves us a considerable amount of money, correct, it to do it this way? <laughs> Not bad. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Wait a second. Uh, Tom, you have a lot of contracts. Uh, Lower Rick, resolved on recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education authorizes the execution of the 1819 initial contract for the Lower Rick BOCES services. So moved. Second. Um, is this the one where I wanted to? Yes. A discussion. This one has um, been modified and it's a lower rate, correct? We are, because? We are So uh, with regard to our board meeting platform, the videos, it, currently it's housed in a program called Ensemble that's at a tune of $5,500 per year. There's actually a $1,000 increase 
slated for the 18-19 school year. So what we'll be doing is moving over to YouTube and being a Google platform district, YouTube makes sense. It's, a, it's quite a good fit for us and it saves us money in perpetuity. And also with regard to the website hosting for each of our schools, it's a $1,500 per building and the district office site where all of our other sites are housed on Google Sites. So we'll be migrating those sites over. Our administrative team has been meeting to discuss the contents of the website. We'll be coming forward with more information as we design that and build that, looking for some input as well in terms of the website, in terms of where people are traveling most often. But that's a $7,500 savings. And now when you couple those two, it's $13,000 $13, year after year in savings that we'll realize. Terrific. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Putnam Northern Westchester Boses. Resolved upon recommendation of the Superintendent of Schools, the Board of Education authorizes the execution of the 1819 initial contract for Putnam uh, Northern Westchester Boses services. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose? Curriculum and instruction. Um, instructional motion to approve the following Yorktown Congress of Teachers professional impro improvement proposals for the uh, contract balance of the 1718 school year. And then we have a uh, motion to approve the following Yorktown Congress of Teachers professional improvement proposals for the CTA TAs for the 17-18 school year. So um, moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We have special ed placements. A motion to arrange the following special ed placements as of May 21st, 2018. So moved. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Gifts, grants, and donations. A motion to accept the following gifts, grants, and donations with gratitude. To the district, six clerical work desks with return, 16 office conference high back chairs, 10 upholstered armchairs, and a two, four two drawer lateral filing cabinets with countertops from the Bank of America located at the Triangle Shopping Center, Crompon School, and encampment storytelling performance by Jonathan Crook and Mohansic, $2,400.50 from the Mohansic PTA to fund a story pirate show for students and families. Second. Discussion? Tom, that's an awful lot of furniture from the uh, Bank of America. We have uh, obviously space and need for that? We have space. Good. It's very nice. Staff is going shopping. <laughs> <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are up to board comments. Pete? Mike? Uh, I'm good. Rashmi? Uh, so I just want to congratulate uh, uh, you, Jackie, Pete, and uh, Lisa on uh, re-election. I, um, I think it's awesome. Um, and uh, congratulations to all our staff who made tenure tonight. Uh, can't wait to see all the wonderful things that they continue to bring to our district. Terrific. Carol? Yeah, I echo Rashmi's comments. I want to congratulate our uh, tenure recipients tonight. I think it's nice to see, um, you know, our staff as they continue on their career path. Um, it, you know, it certainly strengthens our district. So it's always a fun night and a nice night to be and celebrate with those recipients tonight. So congratulations to them and thank you for choosing us. Thank you, Lisa. Um, so I, this is the first time I experienced that and I was particularly touched by just about every single member of Mohansic came out and how uh, the middle school cheered for Marie. I just thought that that just showed that I'm already aware of the connection of the staff to the students, but I wasn't aware of the connection of the staff to each other, and that was really very touching. Terrific. Um, again, congratulations, Pete, Lisa. Um, and again, I want to thank, again, I, I, I said it before, but I said it again, uh, Yvette did a phenomenal job when we had no power. Our custodians were, I'm, I've never seen so many custodians at a budget. They literally stood <laughs> over the uh, booths with flashlights. They brought out um, the generators so people would be able to get into the parking lots. They, they, everybody pulled together and did a phenomenal job to make sure that we could get the vote go, you know, as, as go off as well as it could in the horrible rain and the no power. So thank you all for your hard work. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm so proud of all of our tenure candidates. Um, we only get quality in this district and we maintain it and it, it's awesome to see. So thank you very much. Ron, Lisa, Tom, anything? Quick reminder, June 4th, uh, the board will be honoring our school partners at the school partner recognition night. 
It's going to be a great night. We'll be honoring all those organizations that do so much for our schools in the background. Uh, so that should be a wonderful night. And also a special thanks to the food service workers as well. When there's power that is out in our schools, the fridges don't work either. So they're scrambling to preserve as much food as possible. And they're here uh, when we're closed with no lights. So a huge thank you. Our custodians were wonderful. Yvette, you were absolutely wonderful during uh, the budget vote. <laughs> so um, thank you to everyone who made that night such a special one in, in light of the circumstances that we we're experiencing. This is how we initiate you in the district. <laughs> Can I ask a question about last week? So uh, school was closed. Is that a makeup day? Do we just drop it? What happens with that? Yeah, so we'll be applying, like most districts, we'll be applying for a waiver for that day. Uh, what the education requirements are, so you are supposed to have 180 days of session. You can have as few as 176 student days and four superintendent conference days. If you fall short of that, your state aid runs the risk of being impacted. So because we have no additional days that we can make up that are not federal holidays or weekends, and we have to end by a certain date prescribed by the state education department because there's no opportunity to make up those days, we'll be applying for a waiver, and I'm fairly confident it'll be granted. Thank you. Okay. Uh, public comment, anybody wishing to speak? No? Can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All those in favor. Aye. Good night, everyone. <laughs>